Let me tell you the story of how I started off as a humble survivor but ended up building one of the most rich and successful farming businesses in DayZ. In the beginning this journey started off as a simple way to get food and make money but we were facing countless threats and I had a lot of people that wanted to stop me. And as fate would have it, my business quickly spiraled out of control leading us to an all out battle for one of the biggest compounds on the server. Now if you're wondering where this adventure all began, it started out just like any other day as a fresh spawn on the coast. So I spawn in and as usual I'm looking for some beans to eat when my friend Mnix radios me. It turns out he's been attacked by two guys at the nearby military base in Steroy, and he needs my help. Where is he? Uh, he's dead again. Oh, you killed- you shot him? <laughs> There's another guy coming! Bye. This guy again! <laughs> Who is this big cow? <laughs> The same guy that I killed like three times now. Emnix won the initial fight with this guy, but he was badly hurt, and I killed him so he could respawn and get full health. In the meantime, all I had to do was guard his body until he came back. Back up. Give me a You're wasting all your ammo. <laughs> I can just unlimitedly spawn. Okay. Unlimitedly spawn then. You see, this is the last we should have seen of our boy Big Cal, but by God was he persistent. He's back, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Why should you ammo me, okay? <laughs> if you can hit your shots, that is. Come here, then. Oops, gun was unloaded. <laughs> <laughs> the zombies murdered him. Uh, get out of the tunnel, pussy. What you, you gonna, gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? I'll what come down there with a knife and pack you up right now. Huh? What? Do it. Do it, dude. Why did you just call me the N-word, bro? bro I you dirty n***a. You're gonna get perma-banned, you dirty oh, little wow. rodent. You and your friend. Keep saying that word. Shut up. We sent Big Cal back to Electro one last time and then looked to the west where we noticed a heli crash just over the hills. We had to make her move quick. There guys at the airdrop, two guys. We got a strike, bro. We want? Can you headshot him? Ah, uh, I have only a pistol. I'm pushing him, I don't know if they have guns. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he hit me? Hit him once. The one I headshot's hurt. I have to reload. He's down. Hey, we can work this out, okay? I ain't got shit on me. Relax. I ain't got shit on me. I have a health helmet and that's it. What do you what do you suggest we I do got, here? I, I don't know. I oh, wait, why'd you kill him, man? He seemed nice. I don't take any chances. Yeah, but we could have robbed him, man. He had nothing to rob. We managed to get two code locks off these guys, but we were still pretty broke, so we ran further inland and what did you know? Another heli crash. As we're sprinting in the open field towards it, I look over my left shoulder and I see a laser beam fly by. This was the point that I knew we messed up coming north so quick. Oh, behind us. Oh my god! That's a big gun. There's another guy, left side. Oh my god. What the fuck did that miss? I'm dead. Yeah. I hit him twice, double shot. But you got dude's got fucking Thor's armor on, man. Yeah, whatever, we died, but things were already looking up in my second life. You see, I spawned back in Cherno, ran a bit north, and found a shed, and in the corner was a pristine Lee Enfield. I grabbed it and ran down the road where eventually I found some ammo for it. Now it was time to make a play and get some gear back. 
There's yeah. a guy. Where? Down in front. He's pretty geared, looks like. I'm away for a good shot. Two guys, two guys. Where's the other one? Bind him. I could shoot. You ready? You want to shoot or no? Yeah, yeah, shoot. Hit him. You hit one. One's dead. Nice. I don't know where the other dude is. The other dude went down in the forest. This guy had an M1A, an M16, a plate carrier, and a bunch of sellable stuff, so I shoveled it into my bag as quick as I could and made my way towards the Green Mountain Trader. I got to the trader and I saw something that scared me. Pelts can sell for a stupid amount of money. Now normally this makes sense because you gotta hunt these animals to sell the pelts, right? There's always so many deer and cows in Chernaris. But this server lets you sell hair pelts, and the only way to catch a hair is using the new snare traps. So I'm sitting there thinking, why would I go around looting for guns to make money when I can just set up traps and make a stupid amount of money just by sitting on my ass? If everything was done correctly, I'd be able to print cash whenever I wanted, but getting this all set up was going to be easier said than done. The first thing I needed to do was find a suitable location nearby Trader to set up the rabbit farm. Oh, that's an AI heli. Wait a minute. I guess I think it's an AI Oh yeah, that's definitely an AI heli. I can already read the comments now, calling this scripted, but I swear to god. It's an AI heli, and it's crashing right here, next to the other heli I just checked. I got to the heli and I was pretty surprised to see that there were a few helmets, two PKMs, and a few other high tier guns which could sell for a good amount of money if I could find someone to sell it to. Fortunately I was able to find someone to sell these guns to and I made about 30,000 rubles which was just enough for a code lock and a tent so I could set up a makeshift base nearby. I think for the farm I would like to ideally build like somewhere quiet south. Like this village would not be bad, but I need a big building in which I could put it in. There is a barn uh, right here. That could be a spot near Polkovo. That may have to be where I do it. Anyway, this is the barn. It's not like the worst spot ever. What was a cow nearby? Seems like nobody's taken it yet. The only thing about this type of building is it needs a lot of fortification. We need to block off that, that. Wait a minute. He's cutting it, like right in front of me. I couldn't even aim, bro. That's so awkward. It, maybe this isn't the best spot to base after all, eh? I'm gonna put the tent down. And then, um... I'm gonna start, like, shuffling loot over, pretty much. Uh, we'll deploy this in the corner for now. Quick, before somebody runs over to the shots. Okay. Code lock. Alright. I swear if there's another one, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, the meat! Bro, I'm gonna go sell this. This is a fortune. Full auto RPK, M1A. Meat? More meat? Okay, yeah, we're doing the biggest cell run you guys have ever seen in your life. After I go depot this. From the looks of it, these guys had been on a long and successful hunting trip, and when all was said and done, I managed to make a quick 40,000 rubles off of selling all their stuff. Is this one of them? It is. <laughs> and we'll let him go. F it. Now that I could actually afford to buy nails, it was time to start securing this base, but even before I got the chance, I heard shots in the distance, and you know I had to go check it out. Oh, it's this way. I'm gonna actually probably go towards that. And he's still shooting this direction. So I spent some time running through the fields chasing these gunshots that I've been hearing and eventually I spotted something that no man wants to see. Just over the horizon I see a guy that looks like he's about to enter a Tarkov Labs raid. He has some of the biggest guns and armor that I've seen on this server. 
Now, a smart person would probably U-turn back to base because they know that there's no way you could win this fight, but for me, the cake was baked. I had to go ahead and try to shoot this guy. If I miss this, I'm gonna get dropped on my forehead. I need to hit the shot. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe. Now there's two of them shooting me. I'm gonna die here. Oh no. You should be dead, right? That was a hit. Hit him again? That's like four hits now? Hit him again? Come on, man. You gotta be knocked out. Like, there's no way. What kind of server are we on today? Alright, let's forget about fighting geared guys for a moment because I've got far bigger problems. My single tent had been sitting there for hours and it was only a matter of time before someone came by and broke in, so I needed to stop being lazy and actually start building this base up. All right, well, no one's getting in for now. But you see, we gotta block Perfect. this ASAP, this little gap. And this gap has and to be maybe blocked. this big one here. <laughs> that has to be blocked, yeah. Oh. Is that, is that an us? Yeah. I, I, someone is close. Right, I'm a depot, hold up. Looks like they're fighting somebody. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe we picked the wrong spot to live and be farmers. <laughs> hey man, you choose this place. I know, I know. It's alright, it'll we'll make it work, don't worry. Alright, cut the peaceful music for a second. I couldn't even hear myself think because some guy sat outside of our base for two minutes non-stop shooting towards the barn. We had to put this to an end. You hear that, right? I think, is that a mustache or? No, they're up there. Oh, they're it's fighting a safe there. zone pretty much. All right, don't shoot until he gets close. Just wait. Hang on, down there, in this tree line. Huh? Where, where, where? There, Mark. there, there, there. Oh yeah, yeah. See that? Are we shooting, or do you want to see what they do? We can kill him. What about the dude on the left? He's kind of. No, this one is his partner, I think. Kill them. Nice, good job. I was suppressed, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other guy is running there. There's another one to the left on the tree line. I mean, in the you see him in the field? Yeah, yeah I marked them. Yeah. No, there's two, there's two, I'm saying. I marked another one. <laughs> dad, dad, dad. He's looking, he's looking up here, watch out. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Where is he? Uh, down there. <laughs> oh shit, is, is that him shooting? Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Finally, we had some peace and quiet, but I knew this wouldn't last because this is a high traffic area and eventually somebody would attack us, so we needed to get some interior walls up all around the barn. The problem was that we would need a lot of nails for this, and nails cost a ton of money, so we had to go do a loot run to try to make as much as we could. We got lucky and managed to shoot a stag near Mishkino Tents, and after skinning it, we made our way into the actual military area, but there were a lot more people there than we had expected.
I see someone. How did I not hit him? He's wearing like a bright white. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see one of them. Yeah, there's a geared guy. There's a geared guy right there. Cross, running up to you. I marked him. You dead? <laughs> yeah, he dicked him. <laughs> it was a close fight with the other group we ran into, but thankfully we ended up walking away with all of the gear, which ended up selling for around 20,000 rubles, and this allowed us to buy two more boxes of nails and continue upgrading the base. Alright. God, this is gonna be a headache to do on the other side. Alright, well, now we just build the floor later, we should be good. Someone's outside. He's dead! Who marked him? Nice, just killed him. <laughs> he had barely anything, he's empty. He only had a gun. Take his, uh, take his bag for our troubles though. Um, his name was Hades. Hades? Hades. Yeah. Let me introduce Hades. This guy had some weird obsession with my base because he would just sit there camping it trying to kill one of us. Fortunately, he never landed a shot on anybody, but just remember him because he'll be indirectly involved in the story later on. Killed him. Oh no, don't tell me it's that same dude. Uh, it's hard as yeah, it's hard as the same guy. How does it have got like full gear again? We wanted to just get out of this area because this guy was gonna keep coming back and annoying us, so we ventured into the far north to hit some locked rooms for some much better gear. Alright, so we have a key to Grozovi Medical. We're gonna go up there, hopefully get an NBC suit or something else that's expensive, and uh, get back to base. As we're running to this locked room, I noticed that Tizzy military base is really close by, and we badly need high tier armor and vests, which are usually only found in Tizzy. So I said why not stop there first and loot around and see if we get lucky. I shot a guy. There's two guys, he's full geared. One's in the back of Livonia Tower, he's a little hurt, I think. And then there's another one. Hey, mark. I can't mark, hold up, I need to open the door to mark. Okay, okay. Okay. There's a Livonia Tower back there. That Livonia Tower, he's upstairs. Yeah, and one is behind it, behind it. There, on the rocks. He, he was on the roof, I don't know where he is now. Livonia Tower guy. He's still strafing. Head again? Yep. I might flank left here. I'm definitely gonna flank left. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see one. He's right. Chris, there's one behind yeah, it. Two, 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 two. Nice job. One's behind the tower, I think. Cross your skill side down the tower. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Hold up. Are you still alive, Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. No, no, I think yeah, I killed you. Oh, okay, I'm well, pretty sure. I mean, I don't care. Is, is he dead, though, that guy? Yeah, yeah, both dead, I think. All there's I think. three, there's three, though. Yeah, three dead. Oh, we got them all? Okay, shuffle that gear out of there, bro. Mnix was able to clutch and kill the last two guys, and we had all of the gear secured for now. But as you guys know, more people always show up. Oh! Did you see where? He's back there, over the hill. I don't know where. I, oh oh god, I'm dead. He killed you? He's mm. lying in the ground. He's lying. He might see me here. Oh my god, there's two ghillies in front of me. I'm dead here. Spray them, spray them. Hold up, hold up. I'm getting behind him.
One's dead. Dude's full ghillie. There's teammates somewhere over here. The guy that I just shot didn't seem to be the same sniper that just killed Emnix, and I knew the actual sniper had to still be camping somewhere out in the woods. All I needed was him to shoot one more time so I could find his exact location. I don't see that dude who sniped you. Let's see if he, see if he kills me or not. I'm dead. Yep, he's still sniping, I'm guessing. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. He's still on the edge of the map. He's hit with two Kavari rounds. He's, he's not running. dead yet. Yeah, he's still running. Oh, dude. He's not even limping, I don't think. Nice. Did I kill him? James. Yeah, yeah, you killed him. Yeah, yeah. Kill him. Okay. Is that the only one, though? That's the question. Nice, man. Keep camping the edge of the map, man. I think that's all. Hopefully it is, yeah. It turned out that those were the last two guys around, and now we at least had the high tier guns and armor we needed. Right afterwards, we ran towards the marked room in Grizzovi to see what we could find. Ooh, sulfur? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Overall, this loot run helped me progress a lot towards my goal, so I made my way home in high spirits. But as I approach the barn, I see a guy running away from our base into the forest. I'm chasing his ass down. Maybe it's Hades. You're probably right. I hadn't thought of it, but this was very likely the same Hades guy that's been door camping us because he ran right up from our base into the woods out of nowhere. I badly wanted to track him down to his base and raid him. That's in front of you. That's him, that's him. I'm rushing him down. Where'd he go? Left, more to the left. Like in these trees or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've completely lost him, to be honest. We tried chasing this guy, but the trail went cold in the village of Kozlovka. Right now I had bigger concerns like building up the base, but I would definitely come back and investigate the village later on when I had time. Once I'm back in base, I officially set down the first rabbit trap as a test to see if we could actually catch something from the inside of a building. While I waited for the results from that, I just worked on boarding up the base some more. Look, look, there's a rabbit! I didn't even realize I was too busy. <laughs> we got a hair. That's 3,000, man. Not only were the traps a success, they caught rabbits pretty quick. So we would set a few more each time and this started to pay for all of the nails we were spending on the base. I was actually running out of space to hold all of the meat from the rabbits, so I threw down a fridge to temporarily hold it until I had time to sell it. I had been meaning to sell and do major construction to the base for a while now, but I kept getting sidetracked, and this time a few of my friends told me that there was a massive fight going down at the airfield, and I really didn't want to miss out, so I made my way over there. On my way to the airfield, I could feel the cold wind on my head, and that made me think of the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Keeps is an affordable online subscription service that helps men keep healthy hair and treat the symptoms of hair loss. This online service means that you can take care of your hair the right way without having to physically visit a pharmacy or a doctor's office. So how it works is that you'll tell Keeps about whatever issue or concerns you have about your hair, and then you'll receive a personalized doctor-recommended treatment straight to your door, at typically half the cost of regular pharmacy prices. Keeps has a network of medical professionals that can answer your hair loss questions, and each treatment plan comes with a full year of 24-7 unlimited messaging, so you can ask your prescribing doctor about anything at any time. If you're not looking to prevent hair loss but instead take better care of your hair, Keeps can help with that as well because they offer an award-winning, all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system to help your hair feel and look good. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash nazar or click the link in the description. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash nazar. Thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring the video and now back to the story. Hold on. I just got 
got shot at. Don't go over there, Nazar. Hide here. Hide here. Not no bitch, bro. Two dead. What the fuck went down in here, man? Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Drop the kid on uh, glass. Oh my god, there's a kid! You got him? Ow. We should probably go, huh? Airfield was way too hectic, so we got out of there and made our way up towards Novaya, where we found an apartment base. This base was a free raid. All we had to do was destroy the tent they had in the window and then jump in, but we never got around to doing it because people kept running up. Oh. Oh. He's here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he is, he right. He's running right, yeah. He's dead. I was kind of concerned after fighting at the airfield because it seemed like there was a lot of loot there and C4 was pretty easy to find. This was really concerning because I only had one gate so far and this was basically a free raid if somebody found my base, so I had to immediately run home and add another gate. All right, so we have another airlock. I just need to get a code lock from a uh, trader and come back. But this will slow down any raiders and I can probably even put another gate like in the middle here. Like going this way maybe, like diagonal. That's quite nice. And just like that. Wowzers. Yeah, just put the storage anywhere for now. I'm gonna reorganize the base. Like, we still got a lot of work to do. Look at what's happening over here. Oh. Yes, sir. Man's making money, huh? Eh? The initial experiments are successful. We are catching rabbits. I felt way more comfortable leaving the base now that we had three gates, but I still needed to finish the farm. And of course, I foolishly spent all of my money on a car instead of nails. However, to make that money back, we did have a few breaching charges, and now that we had a car, we could drive around looking for an easy base raid. Maybe we could potentially profit. I'm the best driver Daisy's ever seen. Some would say I am the ultimate teammate. Why would some say that? I'm mean, the best at PvP. I can build bases, I can fly helis, I can drive cars. Ah! <laughs> So about that there. Uh, what were you saying about driving cars? <laughs> oh my god. This guy, I told you he's gonna kill us, man. He does not know how to drive. Like, what do you mean? Nothing happened. We're literally still just driving through the open field. Yeah, by a fucking stroke of luck. Eventually, we stumble upon a beat down piano building by Vibor that had a partially built wooden door. This was probably the only thing we could afford to raid right now, so we just committed to it. I forgot to mention that C4s weren't working properly during the time of this recording, so we had to make a ticket and eventually an admin came over and deleted the door. Oh, hold on now. Are we deep? Uh, we're not full deep, but we do indeed have some goodies. Ooh. Ooh nails. We get a little SRS right here. Take just, just the storage alone I'm happy with, honestly. <laughs> do I risk putting a heavy on here? Um, oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Look through that crack, man. Oh, I oh, see an AX-50 and a couple of tappers. Yeah, oh my god. So, uh, is it Christmas or... 
I guess you could say it was Christmas. I got two boxes of nails, we got a bunch of guns, and we even got some of the C4 we spent back. So overall, it was a pretty profitable raid. Now granted, it wasn't the biggest base and the owners weren't online at the time, but like I said, you gotta kinda work your way up before you raid the big online bases, and this was a good stepping stone. Oh wait, have I caught rabbits? Yes. <laughs> You're so dumb, dude. <laughs> Look at these hairs, dude. Awesome. I love it. I had only been using a few traps, and that ended up supplying us with a lot of food, and I had collected over $50,000 worth of pelts alone. I had put off building for way too long, and it was time to finally construct the farm that could make us rich. I'm, like, thinking of ideas. So what I want to do, I want to make, like, a lifted, like... I want to make, like, a higher level and put, like, an office. And then the office, like, peaks down... Like from maybe this end, so like there's a window, it peeks down, and in the middle there's like the farming area, I don't know. Uh huh. After explaining my design plan to my friend Dexter, he set up the blueprints for me and then I got to building the next day. Alright, well the vault room's pretty much sealed off for now. All right, so we got some bad news. Um, I wasn't able to build the two windows up top. I even had an admin come over because I was just like, I was so pissed. Like I was spending an hour trying to place these windows. But yeah, we're not gonna be able to have windows up here, sadly. It's just uh, Daisy being Daisy, and like, I don't know what it is. I guess it's an issue with the mod maybe, or maybe it's the barn, I don't know. Done. Okay, this whole side is sealed. Perfect. I just got to do these last two walls and we'll be good. Pretty much all the walls have been blocked off. There is a small little gap here, but I don't think they can really see too much through that. All right, we're back home. Time to set up the traps. But first, let me show you how I'm going to divide the part where we're going to be farming at. So I'm going to use these room dividers, which I have here. So basically how they work, you just place them like so. And you can go up to them actually and change their state. There you go. This will be like a little hallway, this part. And then the actual farming for now will go down here. Okay, this will be the farming area. All right, the traps are set. Now we add apples. All right, so there we go. I don't know how many traps we have. Someone could probably count if you want, but I think there's at least 20, if not more. And um, all we do now is wait around 15 minutes and we're gonna have some pelts. And if I sell these at the uh, hunting trader down south, I think it sells for more than this uh, green mountain trader. So I think I can get like 4,000 per pelt instead of 3,000. So while I'm sitting there waiting for my traps to do their magic, my friends logged on, and I wanted to take this opportunity to sell some of the guns we got from that earlier raid at the black market. Oh, like, that's uh, been. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have some friends there. I might fuck around and get one tap from a thousand meters. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there an invisible barrier up top? What the one is that? I don't know. Maybe it's for my helis or some shit. It's like a fence, though. So watch out for little rats. I'm dead. My bad, bro. I literally was so fucking confused, like, where this kid was shooting from, man. Hey, listen, pal, I just want to sell some fucking gear. Pushing it, don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. We made it, boys. I don't know what we missed here, but uh. I was able to sell a bunch of guns and attachments and made about 100,000. Now we just had to get out of here alive. Oh my god, I think I heard somebody under us. I there do. is, there is. There's a guy. I'm that guy. Oh, you're pushing him. Oh, you're fearless, bud. He's gonna die. Nah, I got it. Guess we're all going then. I'm just sitting right here. One dead. 
Tell me you're selling. Oh. Oh, you know, he was selling. What else would we be here for? Gold oh bike. Taking that. Wood. Start helping yourselves, boys. Oh. Uh, and there's another guy. Did I trade with him? Yep. He's dead. Oh. No, he's dead. I knew that would happen. In the end, we escaped with all the cash, but more importantly, we now knew the layout of the black market. This was important information to have since we would likely be back soon if we wanted to do any big raids. Did we catch hares? Yes, we did. We caught some. Nice, man. Awesome. Wow, that's a lot. Since the first big batch of traps had such great success, there were a lot of rabbits to skin, so I built a pelt processing area in the base. All right, so this grill will be really good because it has a lot of slots and we can cook all of this meat. So I'm gonna actually start cooking it because it's just gonna go bad anyway and I'm not selling anytime soon, so might as well keep it for food. So when everything was finished, I had about 20 pelts from this run. These would sell for around $80,000 if sold to the hunting trader. Now don't forget that I can sell each piece of meat for $650, so right here that's around $20,000 to $25,000 worth of meat and the bones can also be sold. I was planning on setting far more traps than I had now, but with this alone, I could basically generate $100,000 in 10 to 15 minutes. You know what? The space is starting to become a little bit cozy, guys. It's looking pretty damn good. I'm very happy with this. After farming for a bit longer, it became time to do a cell run. We managed to put together enough cash for a big enough vehicle to hold all of the pelts. This was quite costly, but it was a necessary business expense, and we would be able to make the price back within a few runs. A few. A few. Oh, this could be our new base, man. Oh, wait a minute. I got on the wrong side. It's a fucking UK camper. My god. Oh, what's going on over here? So this is the farming area. Oh my, that's a, uh, that's a lot of hairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude really bought the fucking dining room table and chairs. That's for the apples that we uh, use for the traps here. We got water, we got a barbecue in the corner. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So we need to move all this in the back room, basically. We waited for sunrise and then loaded everything we had into our new RV. If we somehow died on this trip, we would lose a fortune, and I didn't really want to think too much about that because we probably wouldn't recover from such a loss. Thankfully, this wasn't an issue on our first trip, and we successfully made it to the Scalisti Island hunting camp. Grab the pellets, everybody. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Let's make some cash. All right. Let's see how much we come out with here. Came out with 260k. Sheesh. That's from sitting on my ass for about 20 minutes right there. If we got 400k, maybe it's time to get the heli. We're 346k, so close to a heli, man. <sighs> God. Make a fishing rod. <laughs> if we got a heli, we could cross the map in minutes and it would triple our earning potential. All we needed to do was go grab the next batch of rabbits, which was already waiting for us, and come sell them and buy the helicopter straight away. Uh, guys, there's a fucking truck in front of us. All right. Oh, stop. someone's in it. Stop, stop. Go, 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 go quickly. Get him, get Can't him. Pull out my gun. One dead. Did you get the driver, though? I did, I did. Oh, go, go, go. Server going down. No. Get him quickly! Loot him, loot him! Oh, he has a key card. Oh my god, look at all the cash! Where? Oh, look at the he had so much money, he's going to buy a heli or something. No way he had cash like that. I don't see any cash, bro. I got it all, I got it all. Okay, okay. Alright. Good work, boys. Do you want to see all this cash? <laughs> yeah, let me see. Where is it? It wasn't as much as I thought, but... 
I'm gonna put it in the uh, I'm gonna put it in the camper. Fifteen hundred. At one hundred thirty k. Hmm. We could go buy a heli right now if we want. I have the cash. Want a U turn or? Uh... May as well. Dexter and I used this guy's damaged car to drive back to the heli trader at Scalisti Island and buy us a little bird. And on the way back to base, we noticed an opportunity to get some pretty quick gear. Base to the at uh, big metal right here to the left. <laughs> what? That's free. I'm flying that right is in. free. <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> Yeah, another one right there too. I think it's rated. Maybe. Maybe it's it might not. not Wait, be. No, it's not. Holy <laughs> fuck. Alright. We're in. Kinda. I think the bottom may be fully sealed off, actually. Don't sell us. Don't lose the heli, man. I can get into the loom room right now. Stop the cap, man. Wait. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait. Yeah, uh-huh. Is it Christmas? Uh-huh. I just gotta go prone. Yep. Oh. No way, man. Come on, game. I'm good, I'm good, I'm in. Go in there. My god. The tent's locked. I'm about to be stuffing my face full right now. It's not gonna, the tent 100% is not gonna collapse until restart. When, when yeah. is restart though? That's the question, because we just had one. Yeah, but it might open though. No, I, I don't think it will. Oh, the door? Maybe the front flap will, yeah. Be careful! Oh. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> we're deep! Oh, is this, their, this is their loot room. What the f dude? We're so stupid. God. Everything's locked though. Everything of value in this base was most likely locked up in the safes, but we came out with some decent guns at the very least, and these could be sold at Black Market later on. Unfortunately, their land claim kit wasn't in this room, so we couldn't dismantle into the other parts of the base, even though we were on the soft side of the walls. For now, we just stuffed the heli with as much gear as we could and got out of there before they noticed something was wrong. He did it! Once we got home, we loaded all of the stuff off the heli and I began the farming process all over. Nighttime set in quickly while we were waiting for the traps, so we decided to use this time wisely by taking the heli out and looking for another easy base raid. Get me in the window, I'm going to get... Pretty sure they're loose at the top right here anyway. On most of these castle bases, people will block off the top and the bottom, but they'll always forget to block the smaller side windows, and with the heli you can easily get off of it and jump right in, which is what we ended up doing. I am in. Oh, wait, wait, I can sneak into the first floor under these stairs. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I see loot. I was able to get into their lower level where they had a bunch of weapons and armor. Now, if their first level was this stacked, the top loot room would probably have a disgusting amount of gear, and all we needed was a hatchet to dismantle our way up to it. Hello. Oh, Hello. my. What do we got up here? Holy guns. God damn. Ah, oh, no, the tent's locked. Huh. Come in, you're good. Oh, hello. Oh, nails. Yes, I need that. Oh, they have so many nails. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Oh, my. Oh, my. Let's, uh, let's, let's dig in. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute, how come that one's empty? <laughs> Ooh, jugging this one, SRS's. Ooh, AS50's, now this. I can work with. So we're just sitting there stuffing our bags without a care in the world, and then I hear a suspicious clicking sound coming from behind us, and let me just tell you guys right now, it wasn't from one of us. What the fuck is this, without a icon? Who is this, who is this? That was fucking awkward. Yeah, that was. I, I didn't want to shoot. I was like, uh, why is there four of us? Tell me he logged with the C4s, man. He did not, I don't think. He do got the jug, though. Yeah, we're taking that. Oh, look at the cash. Look at the cooking pots. Holy Wait, huh? Nah, no way. I swear to God, look at the cooking pots. 
I don't know how, but one of the base owners logged in at the perfect time and he happened to have all of his team's cash on him. We knew that if one logged in, more would likely follow, so we got out of there soon after. So let's take a minute and I can show you guys the back office and vault room. We probably had more weapons than most of the other groups on the server at this point, but the problem was that 90% of these guns only sold at the black market. So yeah, we probably did have over a million in just weapons alone, but realistically we couldn't sell these because they take too much inventory space and it would take us hours doing trips back and forth to the BM, which is one of the most heavily contested areas on the map. Over the long run, the farming business is still the main source of making money, and to be honest with you guys, I could easily make way more catching rabbits than any of these other guys could selling high-end rifles at the black market. Anyways, today I was ramping up production, so hopefully we'd be able to double the output of rabbits compared to yesterday. All right, this actually looks way better. So this is the central area for cooking and and uh, handling the pelts. We have another farming area here and then the main farming area there. And a little doorway. Not too shabby. Yeah, that'll be good for now. All of our tool stuff is up here. We're pretty much set. I just need another greenhouse kit, which I can go buy. I do have enough money for that. And then um, I'm going to put some wallpapers up, make the base look a little bit nicer. And uh, we'll just start mass farming at that point and do a massive run later on today. Nice. The white is such a good look. All right, this whole side's done. All the white wallpapers. It looks so good once it's actually finished. But yeah, this area is pretty much done. We have our water here. This is all storage for pelts. This side is for meat right here. So we put all the meat in the fridge. When it's about to ruin, I cook it here. This is to hold the apples that I use for bait. The final thing I really need to do is get one more of these. And I'm going to start growing like uh, vegetables here to use for rabbit bait. And uh, final thing, we have a first aid kit right here. All right, uh, this is the last one on this side. And yeah, we'll start setting some on the other side now. All right, let me do this side. Do we have more apples? Oh, we have a lot, okay. In the end, I had built a pretty efficient farm. I could harvest every 15 minutes getting around 50 pelts. And by the time I sold and came back, the next batch of rabbits would be ready. I was easily making over a million dollars every 45 minutes to an hour using this method. Later on, we were doing another cell run, and on the way back home, we decided to take a detour through the town of Kozlovka to check it out. If you guys remember from way earlier, a guy named Hades was base camping us, and we believed that we managed to track him to this village. So anyway, on the way back through the village, we noticed that there's a car parked in front of one of the houses, and there's a base being constructed that wasn't there a few hours ago. Now, was this the guy that was base camping us earlier? Most likely not, but whoever was trying to live here was only a thousand meters from our base, and that would make us a raid target. We went home and grabbed a few explosives and decided to move quick and eliminate these guys before they built up and became a threat to my rabbit farming business. Oh, they're cutting trees over here. Oh, they are building then. My god. We gotta be quick before they put up more gates. Oh, they're cooking in there, man. No shot. There's smoke, yeah. Okay, watch that window. I'm gonna go lob a grenade. Just make sure they don't run out the gate and blast me. Oh, perfect. Did I kill him? I don't know, but it looked like it'd kill anybody that was up there. Cars in lock. Anything in it? No, I don't think so. If we got here even an hour later, this might have not been raidable because they had enough planks to build a bunch of gates, and I'm sure that's what they were going to do. Oh, I mean, I'm dead. Middle of town somewhere. Oh! One dead. I'm Ancon. I'm Ancon. Uh, where he died? Is he dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even see him. I see him. He's 
dead? I'm I'm lit. I might need help. I'm on consto. I'm up. I'm not all full of sun dead. He's dead, he's dead. On my way. Yeah, get back quick. Holy sh man. Oh yeah, I got Oh, they have heavies on them. Okay. Oh, yes, wow. sir. One of the owners of this base is called Beamed by Aqua. Don't forget this name because we'll see him again soon. Since I now had their car key, I stashed all of our most valuable stuff inside and then threw the key away in a bush. At least if we died, we wouldn't lose much. Alright, the tier 1 door has been initiated. I got insta-killed. Fuck. As you guys know in Daisy, there's always one more, and in this case, I died, but my teammates were able to get the guy that killed me, and they finished the raid. Oh. Okay. And key cards. Oh my fucking god, but look at the nails and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shitty ass little base had more C4 than I do. Holy, bro, this was 100% worth it. Oh, yeah. Now I felt really good about raiding these guys because with the amount of C4 they had, they could have blown through our base about 10 times over. We started stuffing our bags so we could get out of here before they ran back, but it turns out that they called for backup. Someone's running up. Bye bye. How did he hit me between you two? Get an armor truck, armor truck! Really? I'm Mark, I'm Mark. I'm running out. Go, 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 go. He ran right, one. One dead. Sorry, I shot you by accident. I'm on gone. Good kill, man. Only Thank one? You. Was that the only one in it? Oh my god! <gasps> Do we need to go? Oh, we need to go! Get in this truck! Get... Oh, it's ruined, bro! We f***ed it up! I'm gonna get the key, we're gonna fill up the other car. I we gotta go. Key. You got the car key? Go get the... Yeah. No, get the what Tahoe. The yeah, that's what I'm saying! What the f***? That's what I'm saying! Go get the Tahoe! Oh my oh, really? god! We gotta go! What is wrong with him? We somehow managed to break both cars, so we had to just grab everything in our bags and run away. But that amount of loot that we got from this raid is not normal, and I don't know what these guys were doing, but they must have been moving it from a different base. Between loot runs and these raids, we probably had enough C4 to raid almost anybody on the server, but we didn't really have a reason to raid a lot of these big bases. It's not like they wronged us in any way. So for now, we just held on to it, hoping that we wouldn't get raided ourselves. The rabbit farming had been doing pretty well for us, and we had a bunch of cars and a heli. But we wanted the best car on the server, which seemed to be this $1 million armored truck. The reason for buying this truck was mainly because we were about to do a massive black market run, and we didn't want to risk getting shot by a Barrett or something even worse while driving through the fields. Thankfully, the truck did its job in the end, and we got to black market safely. Now to sell. Uh-oh. I think this is where the gates to hell open. Alright, let's go. Modded people. Alright, I guess I'm walking up. Here we go. Pray for me, fellas. There's gotta be somebody up top. One dead, traded. There's another one. Don't go up, don't go up. Dead or hurt? I'll push. Knocked out. He's dead, all dead, all dead. Good shit. My god. I'm gonna get you up. Thanks. Need a saline there, pal? I I'll be good. I have like six of them, don't worry. 
The main reason we came to Black Market was to buy electrical repair kits, and if you don't know what these do, they need to be combined with sticks of C4 to actually make breaching charges. So once we purchased around 20 of those, we made our way out of the castle, got back to the car, and drove home. Oh, in front of us, gilly, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out! Right here, right in front of us. I know, white hay bales, I've seen him. Where'd he go? He's running. We're, we're dog shit. <laughs> he should be dead now. That dude's unlucky, man. Now I'm sure at this point a lot of you are watching and wondering, why don't I add more gates to the base, making it more secure? To be honest, I had over a thousand nails and I could easily add up to 20 gates if I wanted to, but I didn't want to because I wanted to hide in plain sight. On servers like these, if you have a massive base, you instantly become a target. In my case, I had a shitty looking base with only one airlock, so anyone who came would think about raiding me, but they'd eventually reconsider and pick a better built base that would offer them a greater return of loot. By laying low and staying unraided, we were able to accumulate a massive amount of raid tools, but we still had no real reason to use them all on somebody. But the following day, we were doing a rabbit style run, and somebody eventually gave us a reason. See, some would say I'm the ultimate teammate. Why, why would they say that? Can't repeat it again, man. <laughs> yeah, because we're about to drop out of the sky if you do. There's birds, a lot of birds. Oh yeah, yeah they're in there. Yep. Okay. Alright, buddy. You bozos picked the wrong heli to shoot. He wanted an online? My god, it's an online you're gonna get. I don't know if we got enough fucking boom for that, to be honest, but fuck I'll it. Fly, I'll fly the heli right through the fucking panels again. These guys controlled the airspace above this valley, and in order for us to safely fly over in the future, we had to take them out now. We grabbed all of the C4 we had at base and landed to start the biggest raid yet. Do you guys see any metal though? It looks to be all wood, which means we could go through a lot of... A lot of doors. ...gates. We have at least 20 C4s. And they can't have more than 20 gates. If all they have is wood, they're fucked, like, no matter what. Yeah. Oh, is there a 20 gate limit? Uh-huh. Oh, I see him! He's dead or no? Nope. No. He was just standing there. I mean, we could literally walk up and just smack C4s on the door and see what they do. I mean, yeah. Like, that might just have to be the move at this point. Ooh. The ones are right above me in this window. Okay. Like, they got a lot of blueprints in there. I can see them. Yeah, he just closed the door. Should I start placing this? Yep. He's right behind it, watch out. He's about to shoot, I bet. I'll bait noise on this side. Yeah, I like hiding inside my fucking base too. Oh, he's shooting back. You killed him! No uh -huh. way, no way you killed yeah, him. You killed him! Yeah. Uh -huh. You're cheating! <laughs> what? And now your base is getting kicked down too. Fucking double whammy for you. Nah, you no sus for that, bro. Ain't no, no way. way. Ain't no. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? There's two. Helly coming Hallie. back. Uh oh, we got company, boys. Helly might have dropped somebody off. It was flying real low. One of the guys inside started building, which is always a reassuring sign when you're raiding a base. Hopefully, they wouldn't have too many gates. Ah, it's another tier 3. Jesus. What the, watch this window. He could be in this window. Oh, there's two windows, bro. This is a good defense. Look how open it is, though, after this one. I'm gonna plank. You guys hold both windows? He's right behind the gate, I think, boys. Ah, uh, he's above. Killed him. Good nice. shit, bro. Nice. He killed him? <laughs> yep. 
And another one bites the dust. Someone's next to da, me. Da. Real next to me. Might have killed him. Did I kill he him? killed him. He killed him. Okay. Good killed shit, him. Chris, man. He's that clutching man, up right now. All right, next ones are set. That alley might have dropped more than one off, though. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Oh, yes, sir. It's open. Okay. But uh -huh. holy shit, it's a, it's a murder what hole, man. Fuck? Oh, my God. There's, like, no way in. What? Is this, There's like, a no trap? Way on the ladder. Oh, that's a dirty hold, man. Or you gotta fucking go over the hay bales, maybe. He's over here, my side. I heard him like right behind me. Wait, is in one of those windows? Yeah. He's right here. Should I just go for it? Why, he's uh, on the same level as you? Yeah, I think so. Should I just go fuck for it? Fuck it, fuck it, go for it, man. We gotta do something. Three hatch here. I'm coming up. Oh, I got pushed off. So we will have to go through a tier three. Where is it? Right, this hatch right here. Uh, over here. There's another floor hatch here too. Here, on me. Oh, okay, okay. Because he's right below us right here. Oh, you hit him. He's bandaging. Did I? Yep. Right under me somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna place. Yep. Hey, you f***ed up, buddy. It didn't roll far enough. Someone's outside? Yep, somebody's outside. He's running around front. Yeah, first spawn. Strat got him, I think. Somebody outside again? I'm watching the front gate. Yeah, front it's door. easy. Sold. Yeah, yeah. I think I hit him. You broke him a leg. One dead. Both dead, by the way. Nice. All right, boys, this is it. Yeah, I see loot. Oh, yes, I see loot as well. It looks all open, dude. But uh, we're going to get stun locked if we drop. That we are, but you if have we a grenade? drop on three, no, I No, he can gun us. Throw a grenade first, then we'll go. They're in, like, the deep corner. They didn't. Here, stop moving so we can hear him. I can throw another one on this other side. Yeah, do it. I haven't heard him in a minute. I might have killed him with a nade. Another nade in. I mean, I'll go in. It's Same. risky. I killed him. He's dead. He's dead. You killed him with a grenade. Oh, no. I killed him with something. Did You're I clear kill him? Oh, this is loot. This is main loot. Oh, my God. My FPS. Oh, boy. My oh, God. Oh, back here. Back here. Back oh. here. You're good. You're good. You're good. He's dead. Let's go, baby. That's the vault oh right there. This is a lot of loot. That's the vault. God, it's so laggy, man. I got a C4. I got one back at least. Nice. But I think everything's gonna be in these locked uh, lockers. Nice. Dude, look at the fucking. I don't even know where to start with all this shit, man. Oh, they have a lot of concrete, though. They do have some sheet metal in here. Another homemade? Yeah.
don't really care. Goodbye. What is he saying? So the only thing you're really going to get out of there is building supplies. Shouldn't have shot my heli, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> they shot at us, man. We didn't shoot at them. That is facts. It's time. Here I come to burn your gear, fella. <laughs> Get me over there. Ladder up, Johnny boy. Yes, sir. Can do. It's a beautiful sight. And in goes the gate. We began burning some of these guys' best guns and base building supplies, but I don't want you guys to feel bad for them because we did leave around 70% of their stuff and we didn't even bother cracking into their safes where they most likely had all their cash and C4s. Whether they actually came back and rebuilt the base, I don't know because we didn't stick around to find out, but they had a lot of their stuff still. God. We just took down a fortress, fellas. And just like that, we fly away into the sunrise. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for the support and uh... If this gets 1 million views, I will be making the chicken farm. <laughs> <laughs> Fall into day's work. Take the goodies out of the heli, man. I'll see you on the other side. Safe travels, Johnny. If you ever need hair meat, come over. Hey, hey, I'm already going. Look at him go. The craziest pilot Chernaris has ever seen. Oh, car, 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 down the road! Way. Got him? Is that both dead? Another one! No, 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 another one. He's invisible. Dead! There's somebody in the back! There's somebody in the back! There's a chain in the back! Dead! Daisy just oh, keeps on giving. Going. They were trying to build. No oh way. My God, they were trying to build. Oh my god. Oh, poor guys. Pull them out. I want their gear. Get, get the f out of there. <laughs> His name. Oh, Bean by Aqua. This is literally them. Isn't it? No, no. This is the, this is the guys we just killed um at the fortress. The guys we raided. I had to double check to make sure, but it was the same guy we raided earlier. So Aqua, if you're ever watching this, I'm sorry. And uh, that was just awful timing for you and some pretty bad luck. We stopped them twice from building. <laughs> All right, so that right there concludes the story of how I started the rabbit farm in DayZ. If you guys have any other DayZ business ideas you want me to try and make a video out of, let me know below. Also, we're getting close to a quarter of a million subscribers. So thank you a lot for that. I'll always appreciate your support. I'll catch you guys all in the next video.